months ago, if you had to bet on the success of a pending Broadway production, would you have put your money on the one about Spider-Man, directed by Lion King legend Julie Taymor and the guys from U2? Or maybe the one about Mormons by the potty mouth duo from South Park? Yes, believe it or not, the guys who redefine crude animation are the darlings of the theater district tonight, for a musical critics are calling sweet and heartwarming. How did this happen? Well, here's Jake Tapper with tonight's Seriously Funny. But there they were last night, the South Park guys, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. A Broadway premiere is a lot more fun than a movie premiere. With the premiere of The Book of Mormon. People, I think, get the wrong impression that we do stuff to piss people off or to do that. We actually just want to make people laugh. To judge by the mostly rave reviews this morning, they've succeeded. making people laugh, often while making them extremely uncomfortable at the same time. Well, gay people are evil. Evil right down to their cold black hearts. A trademark of the pair for the past 14 years with their show about those four profane cartoon kids. Your show, South Park, has made fun of every religion. Oh, God, you're not going to lay that Hanukkah crap on me, are you? Sometimes it's been censored but mostly <laughs> mostly has not why why go after mormons we grew up in colorado and we both knew a lot of mormons growing up and it just it's always fascinated us because it just has this its own kind of unique creation myth just to an outsider it is it's just goofy but you know we use mormonism in the book of mormon to just talk about religion in general because of course to any anybody's religion to an outsider it's just as goofy we don't i don't think either of us think mormonism is any goofier than Hinduism or Christianity. Is that almost the, the point, that it's about religion itself, not necessarily Mormonism? I grew up loving musicals, and of course all the issues about religion and what we're trying to say and all this come up, but really it's, let's put on a good show and let's make a, a really classic musical. I'm so lonely, so lonely. Music, after all, has been as much a part of Parker and Stone's work in Team America World Police and in South Park and elsewhere, as has the other point of the show, finding humor in the offensive. There was Cannibal the Musical. The sun's as warm as a baked potato. They were even nominated for an Academy Award for a song from the South Park movie. You might remember their outfits from that night in 1999. Who won the Oscar that year? Who, who did? Who? Phil, Phil Collins, Collins for... I'll be in your heart, right? You'll be in my heart. Whichever, it doesn't matter. Phil but Collins? Yeah. Somebody's in somebody's Over heart. Over Blade Canada? I was, I was yes. sure, the whole time, seven years, we're doing this musical, and I'm like, Phil Collins is going to come and try to do a Broadway show right when we are. <laughs> and he's gonna, we're going to go to the Tonys, and he's going to win the Tony over us. But is he, he sent Bono We are Phil right now. He's your nemesis? Yeah. Phil Collins has become well, he became In that moment, he became Trey's ne nemesis when... When yes. you'll be in my heart, bead blank. <laughs> sitting in the audience and losing to Phil Collins, sitting in a dress, that's just a, that's just a big kick in the... I first met Parker and Stone for a Nightline profile five years ago. Back then, Muslims worldwide had rioted over cartoons of Muhammad in a Dutch newspaper. And Stone and Parker wanted to put Muhammad in an episode to satirize the issue. Welcome to Muslim sensitivity training. And Comedy Central told them not to. So many people were saying, well, we're not going to do anything with, with Muhammad because we're religiously tolerant. No, yeah, you're not. Right. You're afraid of getting blown up. <laughs> well, it is a weird standard because isn't in that same episode, don't you have Jesus defecating on George Bush? Yeah, yeah. And that's sort of that's the we, end that point. We did that as a point. And the Book of Mormon is very much in that vein, getting away with what they can get away with without having to worry about getting blown up. Those with delicate sensibilities, not to mention the devout, should no doubt stay away from Manhattan's Eugene O'Neill Theater. Do you believe in God? You can ask no, us this again. You asked us that five years ago. <laughs> You asked that five years ago. I thought it changed. Checking in, check in, so in many, five so years. <laughs> I thought your answer every might five years. <laughs> but you, you, you had a, you have a child now, mm -hmm. a one-year-old boy. Has has that made you wonder about? Yeah, Matt. Mind? What about that? <laughs> yeah, That's what's changed. My atheist friends are getting mad at me already. <laughs> well, here, let me. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. I am an atheist. I live my life like I'm an atheist, and now I'm a little bit more sympathetic when people go, when you have a kid, and you go, wow, how did. What may, that, I mean, it is like, you can know all the chemical processes and all the natural phenomena that, that are supposed to produce a child. It does give you a sense of awe when you, when, you, when you go through it. Five years later, 
Have you guys changed much? We're getting more and more tired. When we started South Park, we were doing South Park, and then immediately when that run was over, we're like, okay, let's do a movie. And we were like trying to find creative things. We were like getting a band and doing all this stuff, like trying to find anything to fulfill this gigantically burning creative need in us. I think we're a little less ambitious. Yeah. Really? I mean, a uh, little bit. And now we just want to go back to our day jobs and get a handle on our lives again for a couple of years. And you've called it an atheist love letter to religion. I mean, that was just something I said one time, but I think it's a good, I think it's kind of a good way to put it. I think it, it's But not kind of really, because like, I'm not an atheist. Oh! <laughs> now you're going to get in trouble I again. I said it again. You think we get in trouble with religious people? The atheist got really mad at us after you interviewed us that time. That was the most trouble we've ever gotten in. <laughs> they said we weren't atheists. Was I like, said what? it was a consciousness to the universe. <laughs> <laughs> and, when they, and when they want to kill you, they don't think you're going to a good place. Yeah, I mean, no, there's, no. No, there's no virgins on the other end of that. No, no. no. You're just dying. <laughs> nice. just you're just nothingness. Warm, you're yeah. just warm food. At least I'm going to a consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Pending worm food with a possible Broadway smash on their hands. This is Jake Tapper for Nightline in New York City.